Hi all, I am Muhammad Raji Abu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So we are continuing our discussion with the S3 bucket. Now last video we have discussed how can we list the S3 bucket. Okay. So this is the uh, sample code. I have already uploaded this to the in my GitHub also. So we can just run this file again. Okay. So let me run connect list. Mm -hmm. So something when wrong connect list.py sorry. Okay. So this is listing all the S3 bucket from my AWS account. Okay. So next in this video we will be discussing how can we upload a file to a AWS S3 bucket. Okay. So for that I have created a folder. So here I have a data called insurance.csv. I need to upload this particular CSV file to S3 bucket. Okay. So let me create my Python file py. Okay. Now here we can import two packages. One is Boto packages and one is OS package. Now we can create our S3 client. Okay. We can copy it from here. The same thing we are going to use. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I need to import constants from constants import all. Okay. So now it is good. Now we need to specify this path of this file. Okay. For that first we need to create a complete path. Okay. So first let me take the root path. Okay. It will be OS dot get current working directory. This will give us the current working directory. So maybe I can print it here root path. So it will be so this will be our root path. Then and we need to mention our file name. So our file name will be insurance dot csv. Now we can create file path. Okay. So this is a full file path. For that we can use os dot path dot join. We can join the root path. Then we can join the data. Then we can do it the file name. So let me print the entire file name. Okay. File path. So this will be our file path. Okay. We can just run it. We can see how the file file path will look like. Here you can write S3 upload.py. So this is S3. So this is my root path till S3 run. Okay, that is this this folder, this root folder. Then we need to get our insurance.csv is inside the data file. Okay, that is why we are creating this particular join. Okay, so this will give us S3 run data and insurance.csv. Okay, so this is the complete path of this particular insurance.csv. Now what we can do? Now we can read this file. Okay, so for that. Uh, sorry not read this file we can upload this file okay for that what we can do we can use this particular object that we have created the client dot upload file here I can give the file path I can give the file path and I can give the bucket name here okay I need to mention the bucket name okay I will show you that then I have to mention the file name okay here I have given the file name here as insurance.csv or like I can give any other file name. Okay. So here the bucket name. So here we have listed few buckets, right? I have some elastic beanstalk buckets are there and my test 1, 2, 3 and is there, all those things are. So I am going to use this particular S3 upload demo one as my bucket name. Okay. Here I can give my bucket name as Let me copy this. No, not not this one. Sorry, this one. S three. 
so this is my bucket name okay now before run this code let me show you my s3 bucket so this is the s3 bucket now this is empty s3 upload demo one this is empty okay so what i am going to do i am going to run this file python s3 upload.py so this is printing printing the root path and the file path okay so this is successfully run no error is there so we can just refresh it see we are getting that particular file insurance.csv this is uploaded file okay maybe here maybe i can do one more thing here let me change this to this name to my test.csv i can give this name okay now let me try to run this okay it's also success let me come here let me refresh it see this is uploaded the file is uploaded at my test.csv okay so yeah i think this is working fine now so that is all about in this video i will upload this to the my git location okay my github location i will definitely i will share it okay thank you very much for watching my video please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye